All right, where the heck were we? It's been a time. All right, so it's been a real bit long time. Happier days before I was around. Yes. Maybe if I hadn't been born, Mama would still be here with Papa. That's not the way to think about things, Saga. Um, so yes, it's been a time. Um, lot, lots have happened. Moving. Colds have gone. Colds have come and gone, actually. Um, ooh. Sparkly blue. Wait, where's the chair sparkly blue? That's weird. Papa's usually so fastidious about keeping his eyeglasses with him at all times. Maybe you should take them. I'll just borrow them for a minute. Or twelve. All right, Saga. So we have these glasses. You're gonna put them on. And be like, well, I can't help but point out, Saga, that there are floating blue things. Oh, hang on. It's like a. Oh. I'm sure that was me who made those scratches. I remember being scolded, and it wasn't just the one time. No. Uncle Gallus brings new books all the time, but I always finish them long before he comes back. My window looks out to Letoch, but this one's tuned to where Mama was born. It's nowhere close to Scotland. The seasons are similar, though. Just more extreme. Oh, it's yes, cause... the comfy chair. Yes, Hugs, I yeah, I don't know where that came from. What? It's the comfy chair. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Okay. It, it's just the comfy chair. I can't remember the last time we lit a fire. We used to do that all the time. Roast marshmallows and sausages and tell scary stories. Again, there's but, like... Yeah, things changed. Yeah, of course things changed. They always change, honey. Um, it's like blue moats in the air, but... Not hooked up to anything, apparently. Wow, that noise isn't annoying at all. I just took him off for the time. This has been gathering dust since Mama left, so... Almost 13 years? I guess Papa hasn't had the heart to get rid of it. Mama wrote a ton of stories and articles and letters, but Papa keeps most of her work in his bedroom. I haven't even read all of it. He won't let me. One of these days, I'll pick up on that whole become a singer-songwriter thing again. Uh -huh. I just need an audience to play to. I know Papa rarely plays the guitar. I think he used to play a lot, back in brighter days. But like with so many other things, he's just lost interest. I have this weird, vague memory of going on a journey with a wise-cracking bird called Crow. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that was just a very very vivid dream because like my hair was like a different color and uh i was also kind of my sister and oh hello oh, wow i see one of the wards uncle gap so that's how papa maintains them the, magic the magic's in his glasses oh no i mean of course it is it's dab magic mm -hmm. still it's pretty cool a ward to stop me from opening another doorway through the ether and making my own paths Instead of putting up wards, I wish Papa would just tell me why I can't go walking. Well, he obviously wants you to come home. This ward feels too strong. It's supported by the others. I should begin with one of them. Okay. Well, let's go in the kitchen. It's got to be where these blue glowy things are happening. Put them on. Papa usually sleeps for another hour or so. Look Plenty of the, time for mischief and mayhem. Look at that. Looks like blood on that chair. Can there's like blue motes in the air? Or is that just because it's effects from the windows? Yeah, you're real pissed off if it turns out this is all nothing. What about in the downstairs? Let's go to the bedroom. Surely there's a ward in the bedroom. I'm getting better. I'm not good yet, but my work's improving. Oh look, I've finished it. I should be on track to have my first exhibition by the time I'm eighteen. 
The madame comes by every month to grade my assignments and give me new ones. Yeah, look at these and chairs. Papa's they in charge of my bleeding. homeschooling. But I've learned more from Uncle Gallus than from the two of them combined. Hmm. I, I don't play with the dollhouse anymore. I know it makes Papa sad, but I'm not seven. I've grown up. Mm -hmm. Papa built it for me. He was so good with his hands, but he doesn't make anything anymore. Just food. Mostly stew. Rocket ships ferry astronauts between worlds in at least one of the angles of the ether. Sounds like a fairy tale oh, to me, but Galath swears it's true. It's a ward on our own picture. That's not weird at all. There's another ward. That's one of the four wards that keep me trapped in this depressing old... That you'll one Uncle day Gallop want to helped put these wards up after the last time I went walking. Mm -hmm. Papa claims they protect us, but all they do is keep me from opening doorways. I don't trust they don't them. trust me. Well, I need to find a weaker ward before tackling this one. They're all connected. Okay. I'll put your, put your Papa glasses back on. I always hated the downstairs. It's pitch dark, and it smells funny. It's got ether vapors and void beetles. Wow. It's not a good place to hang out. No, it doesn't sound like it. For when the paths are stormy and the turnstiles still open, the paths are wobbly and the custodians temporarily close the turnstiles. Is it my turn to sweep the floors again? I've lost track. Wait, I'm trying to get Papa to stop wearing that hat when he goes out. But he and for when the paths are muddy or snowy. It's like I can hear him, but I can't actually get to any of them. Let's try upstairs and next to Papa's room. I'm resting, Saga. I'll come down later. Okay. okay. Papa's sleeping. I think I can hear him snoring. No, that that wasn't snoring. That was him talking to you. Saga, could you find one of these smaller wards, please? Because this noise it is not good noise. I can't remember exactly where that is or what Mama used to call it, but Papa calls it Midgard. Cool. Oh, hello. I believe that's the final ward. A ward to stop me from opening another doorway through the ether and making my own paths. Instead of putting up wards, I wish Papa would just tell me why I can't go walking. Well... <laughs> Careful! Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, did I break your head? Oh. Yes. Do you have to carry me across the threshold? It's Will tradition. Fate if I don't, we need to do this right. Watch your head now. Oh, it's the ward of a memory. There, we have officially moved in. Welcome home, sweetheart. Oh, my head's hurting. Let me kiss it. Where does it hurt? There? Mm, that helped. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's moving. She's kicking, Magnus. Here, give me your hand. Can you feel it? She's happy to be home. Hello, Saga. Welcome home, baby girl. Uh Wait, you are- Balance! So, that's what the wards are made of. Fragments of the past. Memories. No wonder they're so strong. Yeah. They're charged with powerful emotions. And now they're- Some might be red herrings, little... though, yes. to make the wards harder to crack. Hmm. I need to untangle the specific memories that tie the wards together. Okay. Easy. Sound- Yes, yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's have a... Squiz. Oh, honey, please. I'm not in a state to be photographed. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's the first week in a brand new home. This, this needs to be commemorated. Mm hmm Oh, I feel so bloated. Fine, just let me... There. Ready. Hurry up. Because oh. this one seems to be about house. So, let's look at all our housey things. How many times do I have to tell you, don't yeah. put your hand in the fire? But look, it doesn't hurt me at all. Saga, stop, I don't care, you can't. I can look, push my hand in the fire. 
it's, it's dangerous, do you understand? No one else can know. No one. I'm a dragon, Papa. Did you not know? Saga, no, don't draw on the floor. You might damage it. Uh, that's more than damage, this Mama. This house is sacred. It's a living thing just like you and me. Oh, well, this is about must house. never hurt our home. Can you promise me that, baby? Yes, Mama. No, Foxy. You killed Foxy, Papa. It's just his arm. I didn't kill him. I just... I... I maimed him slightly. Just a little bit. I'll sew it right back on, okay? He'll be good as new, I promise. Poor Foxy. He'll never be the same. He'll be a cripple. Oh, she He's grew out of the survivor, accent thing. Just like us. We'll be fine. Magnus, Saga, look! Snow! It's snowing! It's snowing in Beautiful. the cat. First snowfall in our new home. <gasps> the first of many firsts. I hope you grow up to love this house. We built it for you, Saga. We built it for you. And you just broke one of the wards. Smashed it to pieces. Good work, kid.